All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urrutia here, and I'm going to go over Unit 3, Lesson 6, uh, Practice Problem uh, Number 1. Okay, this problem is a little bit different because you're reading and understanding uh, what the problem is saying. There's, there's no calculations involved. You just have to understand what's going on here in the word problem. All right, so number one, it says explain what the slope and intercept mean in each situation. So the uh, words for slope here, we're going to do in orange and the stuff for intercept we're going to do in blue. Okay, so we'll read part A and kind of understand what it's saying here. A graph represents the perimeter Y in units for an equilateral triangle with side lengths X units. Uh, the slope of the line is 3 and the Y intercept is 0. Okay, so here we have the slope of the line is 3. The Y intercept is 0. So here in this problem you are doing comparing the perimeter of the shape in y with side lengths x units <clears throat> so what this means when the slope is three remember the slope is related to the x term right here so you what, what's happening here when the slope is uh being three it means that when there is the side length of the triangle is one unit to find the perimeter you do three times one every time you increase the side length, you increase the perimeter by three units. That's what the slope means. Okay, so every time you increase the side length by one, the perimeter increases by three. Remember, the slope is the rate of change. It's every time you increase by one, you're increasing that by something. In this problem, it's by three. Okay, now the y-intercept is zero. What does that mean here in this problem? The y-intercept being zero means that when the um, you start doing the perimeter. If the side length is zero, then there is no perimeter. The perimeter is zero. So that's really what it means here. This is a special case here because you have the y-intercept is zero. This also means that the graph is going to start at zero. Right? So if the side length is zero, then the perimeter is zero. Okay. So now we're going to go on to part B. Uh, the amount of money Y in a cash box after X tickets are purchased for carnival games. The slope of the line is one fourth. The y intercept is eight. Okay, so now here we're going to do this one thinking about the y intercept. You have a cash box. If the y intercept is eight, that means the box before they sold any tickets had money in it. How much money did it have? It had eight dollars. Okay, so the box had eight dollars to start. Now, when the slope is one quarter, in this problem, what are we talking about? We're talking about x tickets. So when, when, every time they sell a ticket, the amount of money in the box increases by one-fourth or increases by a quarter. Okay, so that's the slope. And so every one of something, it increases. That's what this problem is talking about. So it's also another way to see it is every ticket costs a quarter. Okay, and let's look at part C. The number of chapters read after... Uh, X days, the slope of the line is 5 over 4. The Y-intercept is 2. Okay, so now you should be seeing noticing a pattern here, right? With the, uh, like we saw in the previous problems, <clears throat> the previous parts. The slope of the line is 5 over 4. 5 over 4 what? Chapters read every day. So that's what that means here, right? That's what the slope, the slope of the line is 5 over 4. Every day, five over four chapters are being read. Now, the y-intercept is two. The y-intercept being two, that's where they start from. So that means that they start reading at chapter two. Okay, so that's what that means there. The y-intercept starts with chapter two. Okay, now let's look at part D. Okay, the graph shows the cost in dollars y of a muffin delivery and the number of muffins x ordered. The slope of the line is two. The y-intercept is three. Now, thinking about this problem like the ones before, the slope, I want you to see every what? Every, in this problem, <clears throat> every muffin is $2, since X is muffins. Okay, for the Y-intercept, the Y-intercept is 3, so it's starting at 3. But what is starting at 3 here? A muffin delivery. Again, when you're doing a delivery, does it, it doesn't matter how many muffins you buy, you're paying the delivery once. 
Okay, so he's starting with a $3 delivery fee or starting with $3 for delivery. Okay, so now here I want you to notice something very important. For the slope, it's always every something, right? The first, the second one, every ticket increases the money every day. You increase how much you read. Every muffin increases here. Right here, every centimeter or unit increases. That's what's happening here with slope. For the vertical intercept, notice here you have starting at zero, $8 in the box to start. Start the book with chapter two. Start with the $3 for delivery. So notice that here in the orange, the slope, it's every that's your rate of change. Things are increasing every time something happens. With these intercept, there are things that are staying the same or you do it just one time, right? Delivery fee one time, you only start reading chapter two once. When you start with $8 in the box, that's what you start with, starting with the perimeter of zero. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen.